Hi and welcome to video number three. I'm Josephine Burlingham of Country and Coastal Interiors and today's video is about how to put things in a dresser. I might be telling you to suck eggs, I don't know, but um, I thought it might be useful just to show you how I think it works as you lay things out and actually have things so they look balanced. So let's get cracking. Let's open a minute. First things first is I always start with large items and start getting them all balanced. So this door keeps opening. It's a problem out there. Um, so I'll start with some large items. This one I'm going to pop up here at the top. Now because there's a plate rack holder, it's not quite deep enough to hold it. So I'm going to pop it there and put a battery under it, an old battery which when the door is shut, you can't see that at all. So, it's top secret. Um, okay, so how do we balance that out? I'm going to now put a large plate at a diagonal to it here. Something like that, get a bit of height. And again, we can do something bottom right. Put some speckled eggs here, of course. So we've got a bit of a zigzag going on there already with some height. Um, now, something like this could go up here. Lovely piece. I'm working with sort of Eastery sort of colours, seeing as we've just had Easter. So sort of pinks, greens, mustard yellows, those sort of things, very soft spring-like colours. Um, now I'm going to put a teapot somewhere like that. I'm going to keep the lid off because I'd like to put some greenery in there. So I think it's quite nice to break things up a bit. Um, and I've got a an old pot here, it's a flower pot, but quite nice to pop it in there. And I've just, it's where I keep my straws. So, and it is lined actually with kitchen roll so that it's always clean. But again, that's just a nice texture, but it's useful too. Um, I want to have something dark behind those because those are relatively light. So I've got this old Habitat vase which I've had for many, many years, which is very skinny. So it goes perfectly in there. So that will create a nice bit of depth behind there. So it's not something you necessarily look at, but it's just there if you need it and it's useful. Um, this was used to be in my daughter's bedroom. Um, but she's now grown out of it, so um, I quite like to have something a bit unexpected in there, and that's rather nice because it builds up the height again. So we're working with all the high things at the moment. Um, how about I've got a jug here? I think we need something pink on that line. I've got a f an old flower which I used to have in my hair, but actually, I just pop it in things like that and it just creates a little bit of depth which is quite pretty. Um, plates, I'd like to stack plates at the back of things. So I collect old vintage and plates whenever I see them I pick them up. So let's pop that one up there for a bit of height. Um, and I've got this one here which is a bit of pink. So we're balancing our pink. We could do with some pink here, because we've got pink here and we've got pink here. So I'll put him up there. Actually, I think he's gonna go there. I might shoot him across. Um, now, I mean, you could, in theory, if you've got something like this, I mean, I buy these little canvases and prop them quite often, prop them on a shelf or what have you. If you could, in theory, something in there with something in front of it that's rather lovely but actually this has a home elsewhere in the house so I'm gonna <laughs> take it away but it just to give you an idea that it's quite nice to put things like that in there so let's put a few more plates up quite nice again to have it at an angle not make it all ready reg regimented it's quite nice to sort of break things up a bit another one here a bit of green
like that. Um, and we've got some cups. So it's quite nice when you display cups to have them together. You might recognise this from a previous video. Um, I think I'm going to put that there. I think. Um, a bit more height. Again, another very skinny old vase, one which I don't use. It's quite contemporary for me, but it's quite a good filler in the background. And it's very skinny. So if I pop in there with a fake flower in it, it suddenly creates a lovely bit of depth there. It's just a nice backdrop to everything else. And likewise, this little flower, which has been around for many years and it's sort of seen better days, could be quite nice, just popped up somewhere in there just to give a bit of depth. Um, more cup stacking. These ones are some of my most favourite cups. I've had these for many moons. I love them. I don't think you can get them anymore, but they were gorgeous. Can't think who they came from. But you've got the pink and the green, and it's just nice to have that stacked up there. And again, if you want to, you can pop something in it. I've got these little um, egg cosies, which are rather sweet. You can go in there. I'll actually put them in the corner, I think, actually. Just creates a bit of height, and it's still there if you need it. Um, I've got this little pot I found in a vintage market. I think he can sit quite nicely there, so you've got a bit of balance. And what else can I put in? Plate from a previous video, you might remember. I think he can go in. If we pop him down here. And then I quite like to put a little smaller plate in front. I think it creates a nice bit of interest, but also not, not so it's straight in the middle. Because we'll do it a little bit off the side, just a bit more interesting. And you can read the plates a little better that way. A few more stacking cups. Pretty. And I've got another of these little pots. I think they're rather lovely, these. You get chickens at this as well. You could slot in there. Like that. Um, This row is the good row for putting stacking things because it's they're quite small pieces. You don't really want them out of sight, and down here it's quite a big space. So I think it's quite nice to keep the smaller things here. And likewise, these ones which go with it, these sweet little spoons as well for my sister. Quite nice. And again, if you want to add a bit of height, I've got this wooden pair which is rather sweet. You can just sit inside a cup or something. Um, right, what else can we add? To greenery, you know I like my greenery. I think we can put him in that bottom corner. Okay. And I've got a little skinny vase again, which has a little rose in it, which again can pop between there. That one facing this way, that one facing that way. Break it up a little bit. Now, um, plate here, I think that can go up there. This is quite contemporary, but I do love stars and actually it just hides away because it's glass. Put that in between there. All you really read is that little star with that sort of burnished metal on it, which is rather pretty. And then if we pop in front our bunny with the egg, Nice and playing with the different layers. Then we'll put our greenery in up there. Again, immediately you get some depth from there. Um, we've got a bit of a gap going on here. You don't really want to do stuff too far to the edges because once the doors are shut, you sort of lose that side there. So um, we can pop something in there. I've got a lovely vintage sugar shaker, which actually we don't really use, but. Um, I think it's rather lovely in there, so some more stars as well, echoing our stars. Again, not straight on, quite nice just to do it with a bit of an angle. And got some matches here, which are quite fun. Bit of depth there. 
depth of pink. You can do with something behind that corner there. Sweet little jug, a uh, plate. Pop him in there. Again, if you try and put him on his end, he's just a little bit higher, which is just a bit more interesting. We've got a gap down the front. And then um, I've put some hooks in because I think it's always nice to have a few cups. A lot of people, if they haven't got much space, will do all their cups along here and stack all their plates. And that's a brilliant way to use space. Um, but I like to just do a few just individually. So um, you actually read each one really well. This is one from mum and dad, which I think was my granny's, which I love. So I'm going to pop that one there. That immediately fills that void, which is rather lovely. And I've got these two little vintage cups and the saucers are here. So those go there. Move him along a little bit. And again, rather than doing it in a row, I've stacked one there and one further back so it plays with the size and the interest. It's much more interesting to have them weaving amongst things rather than all in the same place. Um, here, I've got these lovely cups. These are um, Madeline Floyd from McLagan Smith mugs. Um, these are lovely uh, bird mugs, but always on the back she does the eggs that the bird produce. So I think for simplicity and because I love my eggs, we're going to put the eggs. And because you, you generally read without even knowing about it, you read left to right. When you go into a room or a space, you read left to right. So the heavier starts and then the lighter one finishes there. It just feels more comfortable than if you did it that way, I feel. Okay, and then my pretty pink jug, which isn't quite the same pink as all the other pinks, but I think because it's a medley, it's absolutely fine. And I've got some more of this Hogman pottery, which I told you I loved. Dachshund, of course, and a hair. And the hair was from my sister. So we'll pop one there. And one there. That's rather lovely. And then I've got these little birds. Again, just nice to have something hanging. So I've just put some little bits in there which I can just pop them in. I might put away from that pink. That pink is not quite right. Just again makes it just a little bit more different. And just picks up on it. And that, I would say, is our dresser. And if we shut it, then you just check that everything's in the right place. I always quite like to add something to one of the handles as well. This is just a little thing we had left over from Christmas and she's never left. She's never left the handle. Here we put that on there. That is how I would dress a dresser. Anyway, I hope it's helpful and um, I'll see you for video four. Thank you.